Hi there. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin and the risk metric that I've created. I know there are a lot of different variations of these online, but I've sort of come up with my own calculation for it. And if you're not familiar <clears throat> with what it is, it's basically the price color coded by risk from a zero to one range. And each of those values are color coded by a risk level. So from zero to 0 0.05, we have this extremely undervalued territory and it's in the blue category. And then we have this extremely overvalued territory, which is, uh, is in the red. And you can see that, <clears throat> that it, every time it sort of goes to these two levels, it sort of corresponds to near the cycle top, near the cycle bottom. So it's not, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect indicator by any means. None of them are, are essentially perfect. But this, this can get you kind of close to where you want to be in, in, let's say, when you want to DCA Bitcoin. And for me, I usually dynamically DCA according to these risk levels. So like, let's say I want to buy beneath 0.2. Every anytime Bitcoin hits below 0.2 on this risk level, I'll, I'll go ahead and get a DCA or I'll set it up uh, beforehand, right? And then if I want to sell into that risk, then I'll sort of put on the 0 0.8 to, to one risk level. And you can sort of see that anytime we go above those levels, it essentially corresponds to a Bitcoin top or at least close enough. So let's just put on these two. So let's see, let's say last cycle you sold at, started selling at 0 0.9 risk you would cor that would correspond to around 30k if you wanted to let's say go a little bit riskier and you wanted to sell whenever the risk level hits basically 0 0.97 and above which is a value that I've, I've seen pretty much any time we go above that level it corresponds to a, a major top and let's see where it hit so it hit the first time it hit at 57k and the next it hit at 60k and bitcoin last cycle we topped out around 65 in the in the in March of, or in April of 2021, obviously we went higher half a year later in November when we hit 69K only for a week, basically a couple days. And so I, I like this metric just because it, it kind of, it kind of cuts away all the noise in, in the crypto markets. And it allows you to really see what's going on, what you should do at any given point, and keep in mind this this risk metric does take into consideration diminishing returns and diminishing losses. So what that means is basically every cycle, every cycle Bitcoin passes, you'll basically have part, parts in the cycle where you get these big drawn out 80% decreases in the price. But you can see here, we've had uh, in 2017, we had a, an 83% drop. If you look at the cycle before that in 2013, you had uh, an 87% drop essentially. And let's say you wanted to see this recent one. We only had about a 78% drop from that cycle top to cycle bottom. So those are the diminishing losses that you're seeing where you go from 87 to 83 to 78. And who knows, maybe this cycle, if we if we hit 120k, uh, if we hit 120k, and we only go down 70%, that corresponds to Bitcoin going down to 32k, which, if it had gone down, let's say, 80%, that would be 23k. But obviously, it's it's going to be really hard to get down to that price again since we hit it last cycle. And any time Bitcoin hits this cycle bottoms on, on these bear market lows it essentially never goes back to those levels. So you can see that Bitcoin never went back down to the $3,000 low. And same thing for the 2013 bear market or 2014, 2015, 2014 bear market. We, we never really saw that, that $152 Bitcoin essentially went up to 3K after that cycle bottom. So it can only be fair to assume that we're never gonna see Bitcoin go below 20k again unless we have a, a really insane black swan event like we've we've seen in the past for the pandemic so what do i what do i mean by diminishing returns as well diminishing returns takes in, into consideration that 
every cycle top will have less of a percentage upside each cycle. So you're essentially seeing those diminishing returns play out. And this is what this chart considers and takes, takes into the calculations uh, itself. And if you just take the, the color out of it and you only show the risk levels and you normalize them from zero to one, you'll see this chart. And essentially this is just the actual risk values, non-color coded by, by the risk. And you'll see that whenever we go above 0 0.9, we can essentially see that there's, there's these tops. Uh, and then whenever we go below 0 0.1, we'll, we'll essentially see that these, there, there are these bottoms for Bitcoin. And this cycle, we actually hit above 0 0.65. And that corresponded to Bitcoin going to that 109 range that we saw here. So we were essentially at that 0 0.75, that 0 0.7, 0 0.65 range uh, when Bitcoin approximately hit 0 0.65 when, when we hit uh, 106K. And then you, you also see that we hit 100, when we hit an under 109K over here, I don't have the actual top value. I only have the close price on my data. You'll see we only hit 0 0.6 risk level. And that, uh, that also is corresponding to those diminishing returns because after, after time passes, the, the risk will, will essentially decrease. So. I just want to talk about this metric because I think it's really valuable to look at and can really show you what are some good times to buy, what are some good times to sell. Like if you look at when we hit 0 0.2 down here in both of these times where Bitcoin essentially went up to 73K here and then we hit that 52K, the risk metric actually went to 0 0.14 right there. So if you slap on the 0 0.10 to 0 0.2 risk level, you can see that we hit that period when Bitcoin had this big drawdown from 74K all the way down to 50K. And we hit below that 0 0.2 risk level. And that would have been a great time to buy, historically speaking. Essentially, even if you bought, not during, if you even bought, if you bought during the, even if you didn't buy during the bear market and you bought down here at 50, 50K, you would still have a, you would have seen a 2x move not even three months later, four months later. And we also saw it, it hit that level when we went to 77K just recently when it's down to 74K. And I don't have the, the low price on it, the close values. And now Bitcoin's essentially trading almost at 100K again. If we can hold level, if we can hold this level for, for quite some time, I would say that Bitcoin is actually uh, about to break out to another 100K. So yeah, uh, I just want to say that this risk metric is pretty valuable for me, at least. If you guys like the content, feel free to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment if you, if you liked it and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.